Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Zoe who lived in a small village near an enchanted forest. Every day after school, Zoe would go exploring in the woods looking for fairy rings and magic mushrooms. She loved imagining that fairies, elves, and other magical creatures lived deep in the ancient forest. One sunny afternoon, Zoe skipped merrily into the woods with her butterfly net and magnifying glass, hoping to find something extraordinary. As she followed a winding path strewn with fallen leaves and branches, Zoe daydreamed about discovering a secret fairy village or a lost baby dragon. She was so lost in her imagination that she didn't notice how far she had wandered or how late it was getting. Suddenly, Zoe realized that she could no longer see the path ahead. The trees and bushes seemed darker and denser than usual. Strange shadows danced around her, cast by the flickering beams of sunlight that managed to filter down through the thick forest canopy. Zoe's heart started pounding. She was lost. Looking around frantically, Zoe could no longer tell which direction she had come from. Everything looked the same, just endless trees and foliage. Zoe started to panic, her hands shaking as she clutched her net. She was all alone with no idea how to get home before nightfall. Tears stung Zoe's eyes as frightening thoughts flooded her mind. What if she had to spend the night out here, cold and scared in the dark forest? Would she get eaten by wolves? What if she never found her way home again? As terror threatened to overwhelm her, Zoe suddenly remembered something important. Her teacher had once told her that moss only grows on the north side of tree trunks. If Zoe could find moss, she could figure out which way was north and get back on the right path. Wiping her tears away, Zoe rushed over to the nearest tree and searched for moss. To her relief, she saw a large patch of fuzzy green moss covering almost the entire north side of the trunk. Using the moss as a guide, Zoe figured out which direction was north. As long as she walked north, Zoe knew she would eventually reach the edge of the forest. With newfound courage, Zoe marched northward, carefully stepping over fallen logs and thorny brambles. Whenever she felt unsure, she would stop to check for moss on the trees. After what seemed like hours of walking, Zoe finally heard a welcome sound, the gurgling of the narrow creek that marked the forest's boundary. Bursting with relief, Zoe scampered out of the woods and into the open meadow near her village. The sun was just starting to set, coloring the sky brilliant shades of orange and pink. Zoe flopped down happily among the wildflowers, hugging herself and breathing deeply. She had found her way out of the scary woods all by herself. From that day on, Zoe was much more careful about how deeply she ventured into the forest. She made sure to always follow trails and leave markers so she wouldn't lose her way. While Zoe still enjoyed exploring the enchanted woods, she no longer went searching for magic and adventure alone. Because as Zoe learned, while getting lost in your imagination can be fun, getting lost for real is something else entirely.